Okay, so um, I want to talk about structure groups. Structure groups of fiber bundles. Okay, so again, S is going to be some geometric category. And so this is the thing that we're going to work in. And I, I'm really thinking of schemes when I do all this. Um, okay, so uh, I guess it's not really important. Um, so, okay, so we talked about trivializations, and uh, we've talked about maybe trivializing atlases. Um, but uh, uh, so let's talk about uh, the structure groups. So um, let G be a sheaf of groups. On X. Um, and so let, uh, uh, let's say uh, J be a fiber bundle with fiber F. Um, and let so let's let's again we're going to fix the map um, uh, pi from j to x. Okay, and then uh, we'll fix uh, some representation uh, from g into the sheaf of automorphisms of f. Okay, and then so uh, from now on we'll view. G as a subgroup, and let's say uh, faithful. Okay, but if it's not faithful, then we just take the image. Um, view G as a subgroup of out F. So these are the automorphisms of the fiber. Okay, so uh, I, I have these things. I have this fiber bundle, um, and we talked about transition maps. Um, and we, what we'll do is we'll want to find transition maps where the transition actually lies in the subgroup. So a priori, when you take any transition, they just are automorphisms of the fiber. Um, but uh, uh, now what we can do is we can talk about uh, uh, transitions which are um, in G. So let me give a, a definition. Uh, a G atlas uh, uh, for F. For, sorry, for j, um, let's say for pi from j to x is a cover. So one, first of all, it's a cover uh, with trivializations. So it's a trivializing cover. So we have these uh, trivializations um, pi inverse of ui to this product. So that's what it means to be a fiber bundle, the existence of these things, uh, such that um, that, there, that that psi i composed of psi j inverse is actually, um, so it lives in, we know that it lives in here, view i j, but uh, what we're going to ask is that it's something a little bit stronger, is that they live in j, g of u i j here. Which is contained in here, so this is this is saying that these transition maps. Okay, so this is uh, so that's the definition. This whole thing is the definition, and what this is saying is this is saying that the transition maps uh, lie in some proper subgroup. Okay, so uh, the idea, yeah, so, so, so this, this comes up a lot. Um, and let me tell you now what, what a G structure is. So I'm going to give you a definition. Uh, let pi from J to X be an F fiber bundle, an F uh, fiber bundle. Um, okay, so a, a uh, G structure is a um, uh, is a maximal uh, G atlas. 
Okay, so what you do is you can kind of uh, uh, you can you can just take a G atlas and then fatten it up to have all the transitions that you could possibly make, right? To to keep you within uh, the subgroup. Okay, so this is uh, what you do. Okay, so you can take um, so so let me make a note. Uh, atlases determine structures. Uh, you know, by just adding extra things in which are compatible. Um, and so I, I guess what we should do is we should give some examples. Okay, so um, so a vector bundle is just in uh, let's say of, of rank R is just an AR bundle, uh, AR fiber bundle with a, a GLR structure. Okay, so here you're just asking that the transition maps, um, so this is just saying, that, that, that this just says, the transitions uh, between uh, the, 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 the trivializations, let's say these U cross um, ARs are uh, matrices, invertible matrices. Okay, so that's, that's exactly what this says. So you can actually encode more things about this. And I should mention that uh, just AN, AR fiber bundles, these can get really crazy, especially in, uh, if you're working over a non-reduced ring, uh, or a ring that's not a domain. Uh, these things can get super crazy. So uh, let's make them maybe aside. Uh, general uh, AR fiber bundles. Um, uh, i.e. over um, rings which are not domains uh, uh, can be crazy. Um, let me let me let me show you something like so. The the best example is a Z mod p squared. Um, so now you, you, now P is not invertible. The map, um, let's say that uh, an A1, okay? So then T maps to um, T plus P T squared is, a, it, this is a, an example of an automorphism um, where, uh, uh, that's, this is an automorphism that's not con contained in something that's a, that, where it's a domain, okay? So this is the type of uh, thing that's, that happens. Um, okay, so I, I, I've talked about uh, this. Let me let me give another example. Okay, so a further reduction. Suppose you have a vector bundle. Uh, e is a vector bundle. Okay, so um, let's say uh, let's say we were in the category of manifolds. Let's say. manifolds, then uh, an ON structure uh, so this is the orthogonal group or let's say OR vector bundle let's say of rank N let's say N an ON structure is the same thing sorry I shouldn't underline that is the same uh, thing as an inner product. On e, that's well defined. So this allows you to transition between. So this is really saying that when you take two vectors, um, you know, and then you have some angle between them, uh, and you can transition between here to here. So we can. Uh, uh, transition 
you know, you do some transition maps, I, I, J, and what this does is it'll maybe rotate these, these things. So this is uh, maybe V, W, and this is maybe uh, V prime, W prime. And then the, the, the kind of angles and, and sizes are preserved. So uh, angles and sizes, and sizes preserved. Uh, so the inner product is preserved. Is well defined. Um, another interesting example, uh, like a, a sub example, a further sub example, if uh, M is uh, manifold, E is the tangent bundle, um, then an ON structure. Uh, here uh, is equal is the same thing uh, as a metric, so a Ramanian metric, okay. So th these these this idea of uh, structure or the, these G structures um, will encode things that are kind of interesting to us. And so finding reductions of structure groups is, is kind of uh, inherently interesting. And in particular, there's other bundles that I'm interested in uh, reducing the structure groups. In particular, the transition maps for, for arithmetic jet spaces is one of the things that I'm interested in. Um, so uh, that being said, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this out. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.